first of all, I just want to say, like it or not, you're actually brain rewiring, brain retraining every single day, whether you are conscious of it or not. So I'm sorry you don't like it, but you're doing it right now. Your way you live your life is constantly using neuroplasticity to wire your brain. So you might as well take the lead, see your mind as a tool that you can use to help bend reality. Our brain is neuroplastic every single day. It's always making associations on what chemistry to run, what you think, is this safe, is this not safe, where do I go? Are you gonna let your unconscious keep deciding for you? Or, you know, it's just this, a lot of you think, well, it's just too time consuming. It's too rigid, it's too structured. It doesn't have to be. There are so many inform forms of intentional neuroplasticity. So reframe the term brain retraining. Just say, I'm gonna take conscious um, intention in my life to have neuroplastic change in the way that is in my highest good. I'm gonna take conscious intention in my life. You don't have to call it brain retraining. You don't have to do it exactly like I've explained. And regulate what I have done with all of you. And I'm going to stop sharing. And regulate. I have given all of you the principles behind all of these tools. Why? Because I see a lot of programs give you the tools and not the principles. So you have to use their tool. I don't want you to have to use my tool if you don't like it. I want you to understand the principles behind all of this. You can create your own system of vagal toning, of presencing, of brain retraining. Brain retraining is simply an association of one thing to another. And you can do that walking down the street and just thinking for a moment of how you want your day to go. That's brain retraining. Like there's so many ways of doing this. It's, you know, at the end of the day, looking back at your day and remembering fondly what went well to imprint to your hippocampus and memory storage that good things happen so that those memory storage centers will tell your amygdala, oh, we can expect good things to happen tomorrow. It's so simple. The principles are simple. And the point is you are brain rewiring all the time. So if you can move out of the identity of, I don't like brain rewiring, and move into an identity of like, okay, if this is happening to me, whether I like it or not, and I wanna have change in my life, how can I find a way that works for me where I have the least amount of resistance? And find your own empowerment. I guarantee you watch these modules a couple times, you will find your own way to do all of these practices that work for you, whatever they might be. You're gonna have the principles here. So that's the thing, you know, I don't love, you know, I spent a year doing a lot of brain retraining, a good year. And then after that, I, do, I started doing it differently. I still did brain retraining. I still do brain retraining, but it's not like it was that first year. If you're in serious, serious health issues, it might need to be a more structured practice just to get a foothold on what's going on. But now my brain retraining, sometimes it's an ABC. I actually really love my guided practices that I created for Regulate. I just created them. I love them. They, I was very inspired while I created those guided practices. I listen to them a lot myself and it's been fun just to listen to me guide me through that. But you can create your own. Sometimes I do more Joe Dispenza style stuff. Sometimes I do a little bit of both. Sometimes, I mean, there's a lot of people that I, um, listen to that have types of brain retraining that I do. And so it's not always my ABC, but I recommend for those of you who are new to stick to something structured for a little while until you teach your brain how to do this. Don't get a, don't scatter yourself too much initially. Try to find the ABC, you know, if ABC works, great. Use that. Um, it is an all-in-one program. Like you don't need any other brain retraining other than ABC. You can do other programs though if you like and just stick with it for a while until you teach your brain what neuroplasticity is and feels like. And then you can start to expand and you know create your own little thing. 